Bayek! <laughs> ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. Is an unworthy bitch. That is no way to talk about a goddess. If you are a guardian of Egypt, the country will surely be dead in moments. Keep talking. You'll soon find yourself without a head. Did you stop by the rock and see my handiwork? Your intimidation is bad. Sir, let me give your car a break. You fool to all. You think you can change any of our plans? You will soon be dead. That is change enough for me. Death to Cleo! We are the Gabagnanis, and Egypt is ours! Hurrah! My warriors were thwarted, but I shall not be. Axis isn't enough Axis. Let this queen die. The only dignity she has left is death. If death requires dignity, then allow me to decorate it. For you are the most decorated official.
place in the duat for your brother, Sicilius. Hey, old man. Oh, are you injured? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember I do that. not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Baek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. So here is Venator, in attempt by Ubisoft to make this around an hour or so of gameplay more interesting to the player. Believe it or not, we're actually getting towards the end of the Origins main story, if you can believe that. Where uh, Cleopatra is trying to seduce the Romans in order to gain power for Egypt and uh, its freedom from the constant Roman tyranny that we've been seeing in the game and all that stuff. The problem is that Cleopatra is not liked by anyone on the mainland in Italy. No one likes her, and that's because of the natural conservativeness of ancient times. They see her as loud, completely improper for rule, and generally just distrust the queen being a ruler of any country. In response to this, the Romans, or a bunch of bandits led by some unseen dickhead, invited Venator and his minions to destroy everything in Cleopatra's palace. Bayek happened to be there, just lucky enough to be there when shit goes sideways. He has to fight Venator. And the problem with this boss fight is that even though it comes immediately after Baron Nikki, who I completely trash for being generic on top of genericness for genericness's sake, Venator is the Dark Souls equivalent of just a Dark Souls enemy. He is the generic Dark Souls guy. And honestly, if I had my choice, I wouldn't be including him in this list at all because other than his name, he's a generic guy who's generic and standard and average in every single fucking way. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but the Gallic brothers were actually unique compared to this guy. This guy has no cleverness to his design at all. He's a generic, slightly tall Roman soldier who's barely wearing anything, doesn't even have a face because I think it's wearing all armor, and he wields two axes, I think. Plus, his combat is completely retarded, up its own ass. Because Venator just runs around the battlefield and throws out grab attacks and just combo moves. It, I, it, I don't even think his AI is designed to interact with Bayek's dynamically when it's moving around. It seems like he just throws out attacks and tracks to where Bayek is like this is some sort of half-assed single person project. It's very easy to work around him because he has no way of killing you outright. He's so slow that he can't keep up with Bayek backpedaling. And because this game works on regenerating health, that means that you can never die unless you are a complete moron. Bayek is tracked by Venator when he attacks by where he's standing, where his position is. Because he can backpedal faster than Venator can attack or walk as, there's no way for him to catch up. So it turns into this moronically dull backpedaling combat where all you need to do is wait for your charge attack or just take pot shots at Venator when he wears himself out by throwing out completely useless bullshit at the player. There's no character work done here, Venator is here and gone just in this one moment. And is never heard from again. He's completely just the generic, slightly more powerful soldier boss fight. There's nothing to him, he barely adds anything to the story because we already know that everybody hates Cleopatra and trying to get her into any position of power is going to require a lot of subterfuge and a lot of support. Plus, like I said in that Baroniki video, we've been fighting soldiers and bandits for this entire game because Ubisoft has incredibly boring enemy variety. 
So just adding in another coup from a bunch of soldiers doesn't really help anything to any degree. So it's just a complete waste of time, like, I don't know, 75% of this game's bosses. I'd rather be doing literally anything else with my time, but unfortunately I'm stuck doing this.